just a quick little segment we'll do here about a moment from a recent live stream uh live stream with ben shapiro the right wing political commentator where he thinks it would be reasonable to make a violation of the law the act of wearing quote men wearing traditional female clothing in public you think i'm kidding take a look should wearing dresses and skirts be illegal yeah let me start that from the beginning should wearing dresses and skirts be illegal for men in public if so should wearing pants for women be illegal in public well Pants, not so much, because there is a female version of pants that is nearly indistinguishable in many cases from, from male pants. Um, but men wearing traditional female clothing in public, I think that there's a case that local, zone, that, that local communities should be able to stop that. Sure, I mean, we have local laws about being naked or, or indecent exposure, or at least we used to. What? <laughs> we should or localities, it would be reasonable to him for them to implement laws to make it illegal for men to wear traditional female clothing in public. Now, this represents the complete uh, throwing in the trash of the purported principles of so many of these uh, conservatives that we've seen in regard to these sorts of subjects drag queens or um, lgbtq people or so many other areas where it was supposed to be the conservative line that small government is good leave the people to make their own decisions let them have liberty the government shouldn't infringe on that liberty and now it's oh a man wearing a dress get the government involved they should be that intimately involved in your life and to compare it with being naked a little strange there ben and then how do you define that let's, let's walk through that okay how do you distinguish between a baggy shirt and a dress <laughs> it it's just nonsense and then how do you determine what is traditional female clothing and what isn't a traditional female clothing because that changes right um a, a kind of stereotypical example of this or prototypical example is high heels originally something from my understanding that back in the olden days as we say men wore to appear more masculine and be taller and now it's a female thing so when does that line have to change and is it just up to the Ben Shapiro's of the world to draw that line? Yeah, of course it would be in his world. Because authoritarianism is all of a sudden good when it's preventing men from wearing dresses in public. Okay, so what about, I'm just having fun with this now. I have known countless just traditionally masculine men who are conservative as heck and have gone for, uh, to gone for halloween how do we say that gone for halloween yeah as a woman is that something they could be arrested for if they were walking from one halloween party with a dress as a woman to another halloween party with a dress as a woman in a public space boom arrest that man that is really bizarre the small government guy the conservative guy is for the government deciding what you can and can't wear in public. Sheesh.